Welp, it's official. We're lost. I told you we were supposed to hold hands so we don't get lost, David. I ain't holding hands with any of you fuckers. You both got sweaty palms. What are you talking about? That was unusual. Speaking of unusual, doesn't this place give you that stereotypical strange vibe? You know, that one of being watched? I am being watched. Stop it. You have an unpopped zit on your face and it's really noticeable. I'm pretty sure our safety is a little more important than David's skin. Now we just have to- I love my mommy! That's nice, kid. But now we just have to retrace our steps. It's a good thing I left a trail of turnips behind so we could follow him back. Turnips. You do know that Joan is a turnip addict who can sniff out those things from a mile away, don't you? Turnips! That turnip stealing whore. Wait, where did you even get those turnips? The same place where I get all my money. Your pockets. You son of a bitch. I was gonna sell those at retail for a fortune! Why didn't you sell them earlier? Because you two idiots dragged me along on this nighttime stroll with you before I had the chance to go to retail. But this way you can see how beautiful the moon is tonight. I love my mommy! I can see the moon perfectly fine from my house. Oh, wow, it actually does look nice from here. Well, f*** you too, Fog. Guys, can we just please focus on finding a way home? This place just gives me the creeps. Why does it give you the creeps? It's just you, me, David... I love my mommy! ...and that doll with an axe that wasn't there before. Alex, I'm gonna need you to think really hard about what you just said. Yeah, it didn't work. Give me the girl. What girl? I love my mommy. Now who's this bitch? Hand over the girl, or I will cut you to pieces. What girl? All right, all right, just, just calm down, Miss Doll. I'm a male. How dare you assume I'm a female just because I possess a girl doll? What girl? Take her. We don't care. David, that's a skeleton. Spooky, ain't it? I'm going to give you until the count of five to hand you to me. Did you say over easy? I've got the pan. Seriously, what the fuck is going on? I love my mom. Shut up! <laughs> wow, dude. That was a dick move. Yeah, you just made a little girl cry. The fuck, Jake? Last time I checked, that's pretty douchey. You guys can't be serious right now. Making a girl cry is no laughing matter. It is very impolite. Impolite? You're the one trying to kill her! I never said I was gonna kill her. Then what were you going to do, huh? I was gonna have her over for tea and crumpets. Oh. And then I was gonna chop her body up and eat her soul. Oh! But now she's gone and I can't do that. Instead, I will kill you three. Not exactly the way I wanted my night to end. Straight out of love, my mommy! Whoa! She just saved our lives! Where the fuck did you come from? I would have been fine. I have this vest under my shirt that says people can't touch me if I'm guiding a blind person. Are you guiding a blind person, Alex? Theoretically speaking, we are all blind to the peripherals that inhabit each corner of this universe and others like it. Will you take me home with you, new mommies? Uh, well, you see, little girl, we're, uh, just gonna do this and, uh, put that there and, uh, yeah, no. <sighs> you know, this nighttime stroll stuff, it's not really that bad. It's really calming, isn't it? You just threw a little girl over a cliff and into the ocean. So, do we have any idea how to get home? Why don't we check out that other Halloween town that's just up ahead? Sounds fun to me. I wonder if we can throw more people off cliffs. That's usually how other human beings solve their problems. I think. Invite David, they said. He'll bring fun to the party, they said. Damn it.